I want to discuss this with Paige Pate, a criminal defense and constitutional attorney, and Danny Savallo, CNN legal analyst, also a criminal defense attorney. Gentlemen, thanks for getting up early for us. We appreciate it. Danny, I'd like to start with you, if I could, please. New CNN reporting this morning is that Director Comey made this decision independently. He didn't get approval from the Justice Department to do so. He, he also went against the FBI's longstanding practice of not commenting about politically sensitive investigations within 60 days of an election. What is your reaction um, to, to why he might have done that? The why, I can't be sure, but one thing is for sure, this is an unusual, unconventional investigation by the federal government. Anyone who practices federal criminal defense will tell you that this is not the way they typically investigate criminal activity. Most people who are the suspect of a federal investigation sometimes or usually never even learn that they're the subject until they're indicted or until the statute of limitations expires. That's when they can comfortably feel like they will not uh, face prosecution for whatever they're being investigated for. So, so Danny, this is a very non-traditional approach, both in his earlier announcement that no charges would be filed, and for that very specific reason, uh, the director now finds himself in the position of possibly reopening something that he previously said was a done deal. All right, Paige, I want to go to you now. You've been saying from the beginning that the investigation into this could have been handled differently. How so? Well, it's amazing to me that we have the FBI director making the final decision on whether or not Secretary Clinton was going to be prosecuted. In any federal investigation, you always have a law enforcement agency, in this case the FBI, investigating the case, but then they turn it over to a prosecutor. And what happened here is after the FBI completed their investigation, they were ready to turn it over to the Attorney General, but she washed her hands of it, said, I'm not going to make this decision, I'm going to leave it to the FBI. And even though everyone has given uh, Director Comey, at least up until now, a lot of credit for being independent and having uh, unimpeachable character, he is still an employee of the Department of Justice. He still works for the Attorney General. So I think a special prosecutor should have been appointed at the very beginning of this investigation so we at least had a prosecutor for the FBI to turn the case over to. Could one be uh, appointed now or is sure. it too late? Uh, no, one could still be appointed now, but I don't know how they finish or complete this investigation before the election. I mean, we're 10 days out at this point and it sounds like there are thousands of emails to review. So. Uh, perhaps it's too late uh, at least to get it done before the, the election is over with. Right, and sources say there are thousands of emails uh, to go through. The director, uh, Comey, Danny says uh, that the FBI cannot yet assess whether or not the material may be significant, but the fact that he is releasing this 10 days prior to the election, does that give you an indication or any sense that there is something in these emails that, that could be very damning for Hillary Clinton? It's an indication that he thinks it's significant, but the problem has always been when it comes to the, the, the term classified or classification of documents is that it's sort of an amorphous concept and it's dynamic. It moves around. Uh, things that are previously classified may become unclassified and vice versa. Things that are uh, unclassified can morph uh, into something that is classified. So uh, it's it's clearly something that he thinks is important enough to reopen an investigation that his, he himself and the DOJ said previously was closed. Uh, so there, sir, it may be out of an abundance of caution. He's keeping his options open. Again, the strange part is, is that they have closed off a lot of their options by announcing no prosecution in the past. I've got 10 seconds, Paige. Uh, Paul Callen says that Comey should resign. Do you agree? I do not agree. I mean, he's been put in a very difficult position. I don't think he had to issue this letter. I think his testimony to Congress was accurate at the time. The investigation was complete, not closed, but complete. Now there's new information. They have an obligation to look at it. So I think he's doing his job. It would have been nice if they had given him some help, given him a prosecutor to turn this mm -hmm. over to. All right. Paige Pate, Danny Savalas, we appreciate seeing both of you. Thank you so much. Thank we'll you.